at a gathering like this to deliver a speech on uh, women entrepreneurship. I just would like this quote to what uh, Peter Drucker said. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. But it is the courage that continue, uh, courage to continue that counts. So this takes me far, uh, you know, back in my life when I graduated back in St. Agnes College, uh, Mangalore, right here. So I have been a student of St. Agnes for 20 years, uh, should I say 16 years. My kindergarten, from my kindergarten to my degree was spent in St. Agnes uh, uh, campus. When I graduated, I uh, was blessed enough to go to Bangalore and uh, uh, to pursue my dream of getting into the corporate then. And when I first went into Bangalore, I wanted to get into business. And I told my uh, parents I'm going to uh, start something of my own. And my mom, who's uh, been a teacher and a principal at uh, Melanders College said, you're just out of your shell. Don't try your stunts there. Go, get some experience, get to know what the world is, learn your ropes, and then go try to achieve your dreams. My dad's been a go-getter. He said, do what your heart prompts you to do. I told my dad, now my heart is prompting me to listen to my mother. So um, uh, I then joined uh, Citibank uh, as a very lower level executive, I uh, worked there for about one and a half years. I then moved to working with the uh, Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. And uh, when I worked with banks, I kind of realized uh, I want to do something more than just accounting. What was that? When I was with the bank, I went to my manager and I said, is there something that I can do which can add value to your organization? They said, they looked at me, they said, you are 22, what value can you add? Just do your job. Uh, well, uh, when I was taking calls uh, of customers, I was in you know, the credit card department, and when customers would call, I would say, uh, you're my credit card customer, and I see your, I, I, I can see where you're spending your money, is there a better way we can help with our wealth management team as to how you can save your money? And I think there my journey of ideas began. My uh, company then, Citibank, they started a, a unit which was predominantly into upselling existing customers. That's when I realized it's not that I like challenges. Yeah, challenges are good, but there was something else that I liked. I liked people. I liked to help people. And this was when there was one time a customer called and he said, I started crying, he said, I bought a huge credit card debt and it's my daughter's wedding and I don't have money. And um, you know, being from the banking industry that time, I knew how I could help him. I called him over to the bank and we helped him. And he was a very happy man. You know, sending back someone who's come crying to you and the person goes back with a smile, gave me a lot of satisfaction. Well, that was not it with my corporate uh, career. I was then uh, acquired from my banking division by uh, our own clients, then Oracle Corporation. I had fantastic leadership there. When I say leadership, leaders who mentored me, leaders who showed me the way, leaders who told me how to be an effective leader. I think my leadership started there. You know, myself being able to be looking at leaders who are leading me. News Karnataka.